Hey everyone, and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with the topics on the FE exam. So this will be our fourth part in the civil P or the civil FE practice series. So what we have going on here is that the magnitude of the resultant of the three coplanar forces is most nearly one of these four options where we have our forces laid out in our XY coordinate system as shown. So when looking for the resultant, what we're going to do is that we are going to sum forces in the X and Y directions. And then we're going to find the result between the, the summation of the X and Y forces. So since we have the five Newtons is the only one that is at an angle off of the X and Y, since the 2.12 and the 2.12 here are both in the X and Y directions, the only one we really have to break up into a component form is the five Newtons. So since this five Newtons is up and to the left, we will have the X portion being to the left and the Y being upward since it's up and to the left. And we're going to utilize the 15 degree angle here to get those components. So dealing with the X direction first, and we're taking to the right as positive. So we would have 2.12 Newtons positive, subtracting off five Newtons times the sine of 15 degrees. And it will be sine because the angle's off of the Y. So the X is opposite and that is sine. So the total of this will be positive 0 0.826 Newtons. All right, let's repeat the process for summing forces in the y direction. We would have the 2.12 Newtons in the y direction here. And then we're going to be adding in the 5 Newton component in the y direction since it will be going upward and we're taking up as positive. That will be 5 Newtons cosine of 15 degrees. And we're using cosine here because the angle is off of the y. It is adjacent. So this pops out to be 6.95 newtons. And then the resultant will just be the sum of these two squared, square rooted. So what we're going to have here is we're going to have 0 0.826 squared plus 6.95 newtons squared and then square root it. And what we end up with is 6.999 Newtons, which it says most nearly. So that would be very, very close to seven Newtons. So the answer would be A. And that's how you would solve that particular FE practice problem. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you wanna see more problem solvers variety, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.